Well, it's difficult to say whether you know having somebody helps or not. But uh, when he was with us, you know, definitely he had uh, worked with a lot of uh, players who are still part of the team. So definitely he was good, uh, good, you know, and when he was with us, whether uh, he would have had a big impact in this series in the current scenario or not. Somebody who's not here, you know, it's very difficult to say whether it would have made any impact or not. It's, it is very, very long, you know, and. After the second or third test match, I realized uh, it's important to give the fast bowlers a break. Uh, Ishan got a break because he got injured. Uh, Bhuvi was the only one who played and if you see the uh, first test performance, you know, when it comes to his bowling compared to the last test, you know, definitely he was a bit tired but at the same time we never, never really had anyone who could have replaced him. Others uh, we replaced, uh, we tried Pankaj, uh, then Ishan got fit, Pankaj got replaced and his of Shami we got uh, Varun who had a bit more face. So we have uh, replaced the fast bowlers. That was one learning in our five test match series. Apart from that, you know, there, there are loads of things that we have learned, but it's very important that, you know, we keep our, keep the learning in our, mad, uh, in our mind and, you know, go back and keep practicing. And especially when we go for a series abroad, you know, keep practicing on those things and be prepared for what we may really get in a series like this. Well, you'll have to wait and watch. The same thing you asked in 2011. Well, you'll have to wait and watch. I'm strong enough, I'm not strong enough, you know, you'll get the news. Yeah, next turn. Well, that's, that's a very interesting one, but, you know, there's only a few who can play that. You know, the others are still busy with some of the other cricket that we have been playing all over the, uh, over the calendar here. You know, if you see, we, we play from January till December. Maybe our climate is such that, you know, it support us, supports us playing cricket throughout the year, but uh, definitely there will be a few players you know who are only playing test cricket if they have some time uh, and if uh, they get a good contract and all you know they can definitely come and play especially as a batsman because unless you play over here it's very difficult to uh, just look from outside keep practicing and say okay you know uh, this is what it is will help I think spending some time over here will definitely help it has helped uh, all the batsmen in the past you know you have come here and played whether it's from West Indies, Australia, or the Indian ex cricketers who have played over here. So, definitely, it's something that uh, we can look forward into. But it will be difficult for the players, you know, who are playing ODIs and Test cricket at the same time because. Yeah, the IPL. If, if Test cricket was a priority, they would miss the IPL. Like, well, you asked BCCI about that. Yeah. Don't get too jealous about IPL. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> well, if you see, you know, it's uh, mental is only after the technical part and. You know, once you start getting out uh, in a series like this, you know, it, it becomes a bit difficult and that's a time when you require a lot more mental strength than the technical aspect because the minor changes can be done, can be impl implemented in seven days time or five days time or ten days time, but you can't really do any major changes. So what's important is to back yourself, you know, with whatever faults you may be having, but uh, to have the men mental strength to know, okay, this, these are the areas where, you know, I may be vulnerable, let's keep out of these areas, let's put the uh, push the bowlers to bowl into my areas, let them attack me rather than going outside and you know to make it very simple it always helps to uh, know where the off stump is, uh, not on the ground you know where the batsman's off stump is because it makes it uh, a bit easier you know uh, to handle the fast when it uh, pushes them to bowl more onto the stump and then you can you know tackle it better. At times it becomes a bit difficult to exactly know how far it's working. The reason being, you know, what you are telling me or what I'm telling you, it has to be an honest confession or, or the honest thing, you know. So uh, a lot is uh, more about the kind of interaction you have the, with the players and uh, what you actually see in the net sessions. And uh, also what happens is, you know, when it comes to the youngsters, you know, they may learn a lot of, out of this series, but as I said, What's very important is to keep it in your mind and keep working, you know, when you go back home or when you're playing ODI cricket or any form of cricket, you know, to to learn out of test cricket and still be ready for the coming series. And I feel, you know, that's one area there or where all the youngsters will be tried because we all know it is very demanding. Uh, so I feel, you know, uh, where we are moving forward, uh, we are slightly working on the technical aspect of, the, of, a, of a few batters, but at the same time, it's not very easy to change overnight, you know, you need a bit of time to do that and the batsman needs to be a, a bit more comfortable, he has to spend a bit of time, you know, with that particular kind of technique and that actually, you know, takes time. For me, you know, I've been working on something very uh, minute from November and, you know, it was only 
close to the Manchester test match that I was actually able to implement it in, it in a game and I was very comfortable doing it in the practice sessions but I never really had the confidence to bring it into a game so you know it takes time how much time it takes you know it's, it's very difficult to uh, ascertain as to you know in, in two months time it will be fine or in two days time it will be perfect. It's very interesting you know often you say England as a, as a developing team man it's amazing that the games that they have in between them is close to 475 or test matches and you know when it comes to our team we are going to the same stage and we mount to like 230 or 240 games uh, but as far as the English team is concerned I, I think what's very important is the resources you know because over the period of time you need the resources to win test matches and I feel they've got a perfect combination of uh, you know four good fast bowlers with two of them you know who are able to bat. At the same time, Moin Ali, I, I feel over the period of time, we'll see him uh, get more wickets uh, if needed or if the uh, conditions favor him. If not, you know, he'll, he'll be that bowler who can give the fast bowlers ample time to rest so that they can come back if the second ball is needed and, you know, go strong against the opposition. And five bowlers is something that is very critical and you can only have it if you have that one perfect all-rounder or couple of them who can bat a bit and are, you know, good genuine fast bowlers. Apart from that, the experience in the top order is there, Alistair Cook is there, you have uh, Robson, you know, who will play a few more games in the coming season. Gary Balance has been done, uh, has been doing really well. And in the middle order, if you see Bell and uh, Joe Root, you know, are the kind of player that's really needed. Once the ball gets slightly old, they are the ones who will keep rotating the strike and if needed, play the big shot also. So, overall, when it comes to the resources, the fitness and everything, you know, they're looking at a very good side. Well, the team has changed completely, you know, uh, the strategies and whatever that I had learned in that uh, particular series, you know, I had implemented in this uh, this series, but also what you need to see is the set of bowlers, you know, as a captain when you are giving them fields and uh, when you're trying to manipulate with the field positions, you have to see the strengths of the fast bowlers and also the fact, you know, uh, our bowlers are very different if you compare them to the English team right now. You know, the English bowlers, they keep hitting the same areas, they keep hitting the same areas. At times, you know, they may be slightly boring, but, you know, once they get that chance, you know, they start attacking you and you have not put enough runs on the board because they are so accurate, which means you may have spent like 30 to 40 minutes, but if you look at the scoreboard, you, they have hardly given any runs. And that's why, you know, they, they take the game forward like that. You know, it's, it's basically uh, Broad and Anderson who does the uh, attack work initially and if they don't get early wickets, you know, the second two fast bowlers, they're quite happy to bowl that channel bowling and invite them to play the shot. If a wicket falls again, they attack. Otherwise, they're quite happy bowling that line. So that's a period where as a batsman, you have to say, okay, if they're not really bowling in my area, I won't give them uh, the wicket you know, that they really want. And that's where we have faltered to some extent. Uh, we, are not, we have not got fast bowlers who really do channel bowling. I think a lot of that is uh, because in the subcontinent when they bowl, they don't get a very long spell or they don't they won't bowl the whole day, you know, usually it's with the new ball and if it's reversing sometime later, but they don't bowl like 22 or 23 overs in the whole day. So their whole uh, psyche is to go for wickets, you know, they bowl two or three out swingers and immediately they come in with an in swinger, they change their length very quickly, uh, which I feel, you know, needs to be slightly altered when you come to condition like these where you have a bit of help, but it's very important to be consistent with the line. Definitely because the more they play, uh, the better they will get, they'll understand the uh, the condition really, really well. They respect the fact that you know they can plan the batsmen out. You know, if if they are, if they keep bowling maidens, you know they can bowl in partnership. The, the particular bowler won't get a wicket, but because of him bowling in a good partnership spell with some of the other bowlers, you know somebody else may get a wicket. And if you see Ishant, you know definitely he he seems like somebody who has really improved on that. You know he keeps hitting one areas. He's patient with his line and length. And, you know, once needed, you know, you can do the attacking role also. So, you know, there are some things that you only learn with experience. The more you play, the more in the same condition you play, the better you get. So, hopefully we won't have injuries, no major injuries with these set of fast bowlers. And you may see them, you know, turn around and bowl a different type of bowling. Well, it's a difficult one. As I said, it's a reflection of a batting order that has not done well. You know, uh, right from the first test match, if you see... Uh, Vijay has batted well, but uh, somehow we have not really been able to get a good opening, opening partnership because of which Pujara has to go in early. I think almost in all the test matches, in all the innings, you know, he was in by the fourth or the fifth over. So to keep exposing our number three batsman, Virat went through a lean phase. And if your top four or five is not performing, you know, it becomes very difficult. Uh, let's face it, we are playing with six batsmen and 
uh, you know, including the keeper, and then you go in with others. It, it makes it uh, a bit difficult if you lose too many early wickets. Uh, it makes it difficult to put big runs on the board. Uh, when the lower order performed, you know, we were able to score 300 plus, but uh, once they they got out cheaply, you know, we saw we were hardly scoring any runs. Uh, yes, uh, very disappointed with uh, the fact that we couldn't really uh, put any kind of fight in the last three test matches. Uh, but, you know, let's look at the positive. Hopefully they'll take the learnings out of this game and once they come back over here because most of the players are young. So definitely it seems, uh, you know, they'll be fit enough to come back over here. And whatever learnings they have got from this series, they'll apply themselves in the next one. I think everybody was uh, quite eager to keep performing uh, because the overseas performance, they mean a lot. And I felt, you know, everybody was giving more than 100%. But, uh, you know, once it became a bit challenging and, you know, our batting line, uh, it started to slide down a bit, you know, it became a bit difficult for some of them to uh, cope up with that. The reason being, you know, it's not uh, very often that they have gone through the, the same scenario. The reason being, not many of them have played more than 15 or 20 test matches, which means maybe 8 to 10 outside the subcontinent. and. You know, the last couple of test series that we played were two test matches, so you know they never really had gone through a, a phase of five test matches. So again, a learning for them. But uh, I felt you know when it comes to the preparation and the eagerness, it was definitely there. This <clears throat> level is important that when you have a mistake or some areas where you have to improve, then uh, to accept it is very important because you know if I don't accept it. तो हो सकता है कि हम आगे नहीं बढ़े बट जब आप ग्राउंड पे जाते हो और जब आपने कुछ ऐसा फॉल्ट होता है तो वहां पे ये एक्सपोज हो जाता है सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि अगर आपने कुछ गलती है कुछ खामियां है कुछ एरियाज है जहां पे आप इंप्रूव आपके इंप्रूवमेंट लाने से आप अच्छा या बेहतर परफॉर्म करेंगे तो ऑलवेज बेटर रहता है कि उस एरिया में आप वर्क करें आपके साथ कोचेस हैं सपोर्ट स्टाफ है सीनियर प्लेयर्स है जिनके साथ आप वर्क कर सकते हैं सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू एक्सेप्ट ऐसा नहीं है कि हम अपनी खामियों को एक्सेप्ट नहीं करते हैं uh, we do uh, accept जो भी हमें खामियां हैं उसको और constantly हम उसपे work करते रहते हैं but जैसा कि मैंने बोला थोड़ी जब हम technical चीजों पे work करते हैं तो काफी time उसमें लग जाता है क्योंकि आप बहुत ज़्यादा comfortable feel नहीं करते हो एक particular pattern से अगर आप batting करते हो और 10-12 साल से batting करते आए हो तो all of a sudden दो महीने में चार महीने में या छह महीने में कुछ major changes लाना बहुत मुश्किल हो जाता है uh, क्योंकि जैसे ही आप अंदर बैटिंग करते जाते हो एक दो बॉल मिस करते हो आप बोलते हो कि बाकी सब बाद में पहले मैं वापस उसी टेक्निक में जाता हूं वैसे ही खेलने की कोशिश करता हूं सो so, uh, ये वर्क प्रोसेस में है और यू नो होपफुली थोड़े माइनर चेंजेस के साथ हम वापस आ जाएंगे